so yes, uh, the rumors are true. I did get all dolled up today because I am going out for the first time in 55 years. <laughs> I haven't left my house in like days. <laughs> like days. <laughs> Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am having a wonderful day because I'm super excited today. Do I have any Oreos in my teeth? Because I was eating that earlier. I'm super excited because I am finally going to sit down and write my next film. What is going on? If you didn't know, I have written a few films in the past, including one that I just wrote and directed and edited and acted and was in and did a few weeks ago. So if you wanna go see that, make sure you click the little link up here um, and it will take you to that video. But it is definitely time to sit down and write my next film. But I am really learning my writing style and learning what I like, what I dislike. Um, and it's just a really cool process to see growth in your writing as you get older and wiser and come closer to death. That just got really morbid. It's all right though. Uh, yeah, but obviously as I said before I'm going to be going out tonight so that I will not be filming But when I get home, we'll have a little one-on-one -on -one time a little tay -ta tay a little writing sesh So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one Well, if you're not around you can always talk to my sister Flo. Hi, how are you? My name's Flo. Don't listen to anything my sister says. She's nuts. If you know where that's from, you're a real one. You're a real one. Hi, and welcome to Delusional Hour with Sabrina, where we're delusional and have no clue what we're talking about. So it is obviously a couple days later because I'm in my writing attire. Um, I look attired and it's just, it's a couple days later. Uh, I had to literally take an entire day to recuperate from what was a wild night which was not actually even a wild night i just went dancing with a friend and we had drinks and I, I didn't even drink that much and i was like oh my gosh i've been hit by a truck drink responsibly kids i mean not kids because if you're a kid you probably shouldn't be drinking um don't listen to anything sabrina says she's not so yeah i'm excited to start writing because i'm obviously in the writing mood i have a lot to say a lot of things on my mind which hopefully that can trans Pyre? Transpire? Is that a word? Personal dictionary, can you look up transpire for me? Yes, it is a word. It's a word. Transpire is a word. I, I hope that transfers well to the page. Pretty much lot to say. That's just freaking right. Let's go. Let's go. Hello and welcome back to voiceovers with Sabrina. I'm your host Sabrina Johns. I don't know why I keep doing that. Like I think I'm on some kind of talk show. It must be like my secret subconscious dream to be a talk show host um i don't know about that that's actually kind of terrifying anyway um hi so here i am writing my script <laughs> um like usual honestly but i kind of jumped into the script not knowing what it's about i still don't necessarily know what it's about but i think i have more of a grasp on the plot um it is kind of i guess you can say a comedy um, I still don't know what the ending is going to be, but I think it's really cool to kind of jump into a script when you don't know the ending or you don't know the plot because it really surprises you um, what characters you come up with and what ends up happening in general. So I'm really excited to see where this goes. That's really close. I'm going to need you to back up a little. Just a little. Just, just a little. Okay. Perfect. So I'm back. Um, I literally wrote three pages, like literally, just like literally, just three pages. Um, which is not bad. I mean, for a short film, especially because I know this is, is going to be a short film. I, it's just, I like it so far, but I don't think it's going to be like a two-hour thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I think short films are the best way to really get your practice in. Um, I've already done two. <laughs> And I feel like I am slowly but surely feeling my style when it comes to filming and when it comes to writing in general. Um, and I think that's why doing films on your own is so important before even thinking of like jumping in and going and you know pitching stories to big production studios and stuff. I'm really just doing all of this because I want to test myself and I want to see can I handle the pressure when it's just me putting the pressure on myself which you know I pretty much do every single day so like I'm a pro. <laughs> but it's just I just I love making movies and I just want to do that for the rest of my life. Um whether that's with a big production studio or whether that's literally in my living room with the camera 
pointing at my face and I'm the only character in the movie. It's obviously a lot easier to direct actual actors. Um, don't suggest doing all of your short films by yourself, but if you, you do you boo, you do you. Um, but this short film I actually am really liking so far. I have a lot of ideas as to what I want to do with it. Um, not incredibly sure exactly what the ending is going to be, but I have the general direction of where I'm going. And I think the most important thing to know when you're writing your film is actually the ending of your film um because it just gives you a sense of direction as to where you're going um rather than just like jumping in and just being like hey i'm just floating around here dude what is with the finding nemo references today <laughs> maybe i should watch that i think i need to watch that i think it's a sign from the universe that i need to watch finding nemo it's the only explanation i've got really big bags under my eyes it makes me look really tired but it's also probably because i am really tired but yeah i'm gonna continue writing this script uh there will probably be another screenwriting vlog soon on it because it's literally gonna be really short watch me say that and then it ends up being like a three hour feature film <laughs> typical sabrina <laughs> i'm also gonna go and get some sleep because your girl is extremely tired i don't know i'm talking like kira knightley mr darcy hey mr darcy i love you <laughs> I am obviously delusional right now, so um, I'm gonna go and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Yeah, no, it's not working. My foundation literally is not matching my skin. It's fine. It's fine. Hi, welcome to the next day. Yeah, you caught me. It's not the next day. It's literally the same day. I just brushed my hair and put makeup on because I just wanted it to feel like it was the next day because I just wanted to be professional for once and like don't judge me. So I just want to end the video and all of a sudden this just has become like a chaotic outro. I literally look so pale right now. I look like a ghost and it's not even the fact that I look like a ghost. Like that's not the problem. It's that my neck doesn't look like a ghost. But we're just gonna ignore that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up so I need to make more additional content like this. And don't forget to click the subscription button down below. It helps me to get more content out to you guys and it's also great for you because You'll never miss a video because YouTube will be sure to notify you like for sure like they will they will not not notify you also don't forget to say hi in the comments because I always love talking to you guys and I try to get to every single person that I can um, so if you want to say hi or you just want to chat make sure you just like leave me a hey what's up in the comments or like a hey how you doing or hey how you doing just kidding I'm not soliciting possible suitors in my comments that is not what I'm doing unless you happen to be Tom Hiddleston then maybe I am. In addition, I will also leave my GoFundMe link in the description box below. I'm currently fundraising for my short film, Melrose Street. I have a whole video talking about it, so I will also leave that in the cards up here in the description box below. But I will leave my GoFundMe link in case you want to donate. It would be much appreciated if you do want to. And last but not least, I leave all of my social media links down in the description box below as well so that we can catch up and become the best of friends. So definitely follow me on there because I try to get to everyone on there as well. With that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so, so much for watching. I love you with all of me, Corazon. Not my Calzone, but my Corazon. And sometimes my Calzone. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye!